The winter months can sometimes be tough on our mental health. And as a parent or carer, you might be worrying about how your child might cope this Christmas break. Here are our six tips for promoting good mental health for your children this winter. Tip one, think about what you can control. There might be some important family rituals and festivities that just won't be possible this December. But think about what you can control. How can you help your child to feel excited about the holidays? It's the small things. Can you cook their favourite food together and all get dressed up for the occasion? Can you snuggle down and pick out their favourite movies? You never know, you might create some new family traditions. Tip two, get out and about. As winter sets in and afternoons grow darker, it can be less appealing to head outdoors. But natural light, fresh air and exercise can still be great for our mental health even in cold weather. If you are able to, wrap up warm and try encouraging your child to spend a bit more time outside, even if it is only for a while. Number three, stay in touch. We're all more limited in who we can spend time with over the holidays this year. So it's important we help children find ways to stay in touch with their extended family and friends. Sending photos or short video clips can be a fun way to stay connected with loved ones and friends. Tip four, be creative. Being creative is a fantastic way for children and adults to share their thoughts, feelings and ideas. Now being at home this Christmas might be a perfect opportunity to find a new creative outlet. Our art room team at Place to Be has created loads of well-being and creative activities, including themes like space, seasons, and even superheroes. Keep a diary. If your child is struggling with some difficult feelings, it could be useful to encourage them to write those feelings down, perhaps in a diary or even on their phone. Writing our feelings down can be a great way to help us to process them. And if your child is facing a particular challenge or a difficulty, help them to break that down into more manageable chunks and just take one step at a time. Number six, take time to reflect. New Year is a natural point to stop and pause and look back over the past year. And of course, this past year has been particularly challenging. But nevertheless, it can be really helpful to try to draw some positives out of a difficult situation, no matter how small they might be. And of course, New Year's a time for looking forward and planning the year ahead. So, is there something your child's looking forward to in the coming year? Or is this something that they'd really like to achieve? For more tips and advice on supporting your child's mental health, please visit our website. We really hope these tips have been helpful and from all of us at Place to Be, we hope your December festivities go well.